My name is Melissa Monroe. I started painting in 2013 and have been full-time since 2014. Earning all my income from art has been an exciting journey. Before I painted, I always thought because I couldn't draw, I wouldn't be good at art. And in 2013, I saw an artist painting a mural at my new workplace. My life changed in that moment. Art has opened a way for me to express my feelings, which led me to change my life. This will be my fifth year participating in Portland Open Studios. This is my favorite event of the year to show new and old collectors what I've been working on and the space I create. Last year, I moved into a new studio in Northeast Portland. It used to be a church, so it has a large room on it. It has really encouraged me to make larger work and view my work throughout the day, changing how I paint. My paintings are constructed of expressive mark making techniques. Paintings often start as palettes and transition into paintings once built up. My work is intuitive and stays abstract until finished or becomes figurative once inspired to do so. I never know what I will create. Expectations can ruin the unexpected. I'm constantly pushing myself to create work that is stronger, better than the last. My lines are consistent, but my work is constantly inspired by my surroundings. I'm inspired by vintage items, human emotions, and colors in nature. I create my work with many layers of acrylic paint and some colored pencil. I work on several pieces at a time, and this keeps me excited about my work. I have shown and sold work around the world. I currently have work at the Rental Sales Gallery at the Portland Art Museum, Higher Art Gallery, Traverse City, Michigan, and River Sea Gallery in Astoria. I show my work in local shops around Portland and I look forward to hosting events at my studio in the future. I have published many of my own books. They are all limited edition and you can get the latest one, Unfinished Mess, now on my website. My masks are different parts of who I am. I find wearing and creating them to be a spiritual practice of play. The masks are made of different materials such as paper clay, wire, plaster, and latex. I use the masks to make videos with my partner Jesse Reno. We have performed our music to accompany these videos. Music is a huge part of my inspiration, performing and as a viewer. I normally attend shows every weekend and play with my band, Soft Memory. The song in the background is from my band. I started having children at a young age. I have three children, 8, 10, and 13. They keep me busy and inspire me creatively. I created a series called Bad Mother about the struggle of never being enough, and more recently a series called Plastic Ego about the vanity and brand, which came about after my daughter wanting a Gucci clothing, and I made her a bootleg version using the screens. The screens ended up in my work and birthed the series. You can find my work online at melissamonroeart.com and follow me on Instagram at melissamonroeart. During Open Studio Weekends, I'll be releasing my latest work and special sales as long as doing Instagram live demos and talks. If you scroll to the bottom of my site, you can sign up for my email list to hear more about upcoming events and sales throughout the year.